Welcome to this short video in which we'll go over what's new in the GeoMap app for version 3.6.6. We'll look at the functions listed here and show the updates and enhancements that have been made in this release. So first up is the digitizing tool. So here I activated the digitizer by clicking the XYZ button in the toolbar and that loaded the grid that underlies the global multi-resolution topographic synthesis that forms the base map for GeoMap app. So let's move this window out of the way and start digitizing. So the big upgrade for this release has been that we made the digitizer much simpler, more intuitive, and we can uh, edit the points in real time. So let's say we want to finish digitizing, we can just double click and oh, let's say we made a mistake with this point we can either drag it to a new location on the map like so or we could change the uh, latitude or longitude value in the table below just by clicking on one of these and say making it minus uh, 21 degrees instead and that move the point down to there we can also rearrange the values uh, by dragging the rows around in the table so let's move this row up to there and like so okay we can also append to an existing segment so if we want to add a couple of extra digitized points to the end of this profile we click add segment and there we go okay and any of those edits can be made whether we're looking at the interpolated points or the profile so if we drag a point around you see the profile and all the values changing in real time and then we also added a save button that allows the table or the profile to be saved so that's a very brief overview on the updates that were made to the digitizer let's now look at save sessions so we're going to close this So here's an example we'll use to cover the updates we've made to the save session function. In this case, we've got quite a lot going on in this GeoMap app session. We have a few grids loaded and some tabular data. There is a grid of shear wave velocity that has uh, one color palette, the jet to invert palette. On top of that, we have the depth to the top of the subducting slab. And that grid has been made semi-transparent and has been colored with a black-white palette. We've also added contours to it. Then we've put the state boundaries on as an overlay. There's uh, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho state there with the boundaries. And on top of everything, this tabular data set represents some geochemical data that's been colored on aluminum oxide and scaled on magnesia. So the new version of GeoMap app will allow this example to be saved just like it is and that allows it to be uh, shared with collaborators or with students if you teach. So to save the session, we go to File, Save Session, it's the Session Manager, Save Current Session, and we'll save that. And that will save a little file that's uh, just shown here. And I'm going to get rid of this GeoMap app and start another one. And we'll show how to import that so here's the new window, and we'll import that session that we just saved. There it is. And we see lots of things happening, lots of data sets are being loaded. And you can see here it's loading the tabular data slowly. Okay, so we click that. And there we go. So we imported that save session file and all of the layers with all the transparency, the coloring, the shading, the contouring has all been reproduced exactly as we saved it. Remember that a save session will work on built-in data sets, but we don't currently allow imported data sets to be stored in a session file. So that's the update to the save session. Next, we'll very briefly explain the upgrade that was made 
that allows a wider range of grids to be added to GeoMap app. Here we have a couple of different grids that were produced using the GMT software. And one is in the older style CF, a uh, NetCDF format, which stores the Z values as flows. And the other grid stores them as double precision in the newer ND format. In the new version of GeoMap app, the <coughs> newer version of the grid, the double precision version, can now be imported. So both floats and double precision grids can be imported into GeoMap app now. So let's close this window and look at the next upgrade. And that is the upgrade that was made to how GeoMap app handles web feature services and web mapping services. Here's a web page that offers a WMS, a web mapping service that we can test. So in this case, it's the Washington State Geological Data from the USGS. And we see if we look down near the bottom that the web mapping service URL has the HTTPS uh, format. That's the newer style and GeoMap app can now handle those. So let's copy that into the mouse, copy link, and in GeoMap app, we're going to file, import from WMS, and we pop the URL in there, hit connect. And GMF app is reaching out to the USGS WMS server, there we go. It connected and it found these layers, and let's load the Washington State lithology. And it's loading, here we go. And in a second, there we are, there we see the lithological map has come up like that. So now GMF app can handle HTTP and HTTPS calls to web feature services and web mapping services. Next we'll very briefly explain the update made to handling tabular data. Here we have some geochemical data for the East African Rift area and the update refers to the color, scale or graphing functions. In previous versions of GeoMap app, if you clicked on one of these, all of the column headers that's in the table below would be listed in the menu. But now when you click on one, a menu, only the valid columns, which have valid numerical values, will be listed. So if we wanted to color, say on the Illumina value, we do it like that. The last update relates to the profiling tool, which we'll show here. So in this case, we have a couple of grids, magnetic anomalies at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. We have a background grid, and on top of that, we have a higher resolution grid from uh, a Langseth survey. And if we look carefully, we can see that there are some holes in the higher resolution ship-based grid. If we want to draw a profile, that we'll do by activating the profile tool, and drawing through these holes. The upgrade that's been made to this version of GMF app is that now the pen is lifted in the profile window whenever there's a data gap. Notice also we have this stack of vertical grids and this was an update that we made uh, allowing multiple grids to be profiled at once in the previous version of GMF app. So that concludes this short video on the updates that we've made for version 3.6.6. And as before, um, if you have any questions or comments, please send email to info at geomapapp.org. Thank you.